Hi everybody, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel and I'm here with my sister Terry. Hello. She's down in Florida and I came over to visit. She is hanging out with my mom in uh, Brevard County and so I'm here for a couple of days saying hi and we're doing Dolly stuff. We went to the beach today and all that good stuff and uh, one of the things I thought would be fun to do is she's also a, a Blythe doll collector and she has a number of Barbies too, right? Oh yeah, I've got several and, and, and what else? You have uh, precious moments. Precious moments, right? Mm -hmm. Raggedy Ann's, a couple of Raggedy Ann's and yeah. stuff. So, and but... I've got my last <coughs> baby doll from when I was oh, little. I've okay. got her. So she has that. She has a substantial collection, I would say. Um, but she has not seen a smart doll in person. And I thought it would be really cool to do sort of like a reaction video where she actually gets to see one of these dolls in person because they are very unique dolls. Um, they're very different than a typical, you know, 12 inch fashion doll, which is kind of what you're used to. So I brought over one of my dolls, one of my smart dolls. I got her in here. Okay. Keep calm and carry a smart doll. Yes. <laughs> yes. And of course I'm wearing my be seen with a smart doll t-shirt that I got from the, um, oh, what is it? My, my lady disdains, um, channel. So if you're looking for good smart doll YouTube content, check them out. And, um, yeah, so let me, I got her wrapped up here. And this is typically, when you when you get them, they come um, kneeling like this, and they don't have the wig on. Uh, but I left her wig on because it's a pain in the butt to take it on and off. Uh, but they, he has them kneeling, and he has bubble wrap around Now, does, do they have clothes on, or are they like a Blythe um, doll naked? <laughs> no, they actually, he has or panties. Or Al AliExpress dolls. Yeah, naked. AliExpress. Yeah, because the stock ones yeah. have full-on outfits. Um, they come with a bralette and panties. Okay. Okay. That's good. She has a t-shirt and shorts though today. So anyway, and she is, um, Dauntless in T. Dauntless. So her name is Dauntless. She's one of the very popular. Is she daunting? So, <laughs> so hopefully, you know, the camera is kind of hard to get a full I see look her here. Feet. So go ahead and unwrap her. Tomorrow. All right. Let's <clears throat> see. <clears throat> I just have her wrapped up in this blanket. And I oh, got to, wow. I put the netting on her hair so it wouldn't go all over the place. Wow. She's, um, as far as her build goes, she's realistic. Mm -hmm. She's not, like, Barbie's not really realistic. <laughs> no, no, no. So how do you, okay. And then she bends, oh, okay. Her hands are really pretty. You can uh, you can interchange the hands so they do pop off and then, and you can put different hands like he has, you know, like thumbs up and peace sign and things like that. She is a very big doll. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I couldn't carry her in my purse. No. <laughs> Well, maybe if I had the right person. Yeah, you'd have to. Yeah, I she's mean, she's really pretty. She, when you, when you fold her, her, she eyes. does fit in this, you know. But yes. Look at her eyes. I don't know if you can really see. I don't know if you can tell, but they're really, really pretty. They remind me of um, like a Caribbean blue, mm -hmm. like you would, you know, the ocean, the sea. That's really pretty. <clears throat> and she's got makeup. So her on. eyes, you can switch them out. You can. There's a, a, a hole on the top, and I mean, I could take her wig off if you want to see, mm -hmm. but um, that's okay. Yeah. Her, um, there's a, there's a, like a, like a plate on the top that you can pop off, and her eyes are in there with like, um, putty, and you can take, you can change her eyes, but I like her eyes as they are. I like her hair. I wish, yeah. I, I'd like to have hair like that. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. And it's nice. I brush it and everything. It's really pretty. And it feels it's, nice. It's yeah. it's not um, no product or anything. Let me get, get her. Let yeah. me compare. <laughs> of course, this is a fakie, but yeah. uh, I don't like to bring my real ones on the trip because, well, right. who knows my, what might happen. Yeah, like yeah her hair's very a lot different than mm -hmm. this hair. They have really high quality wigs. You can tell it's I high quality. I wish he sold the wigs separately. Like, I wish you could buy these wigs. There's, you know, there's other she vendors. She got a butt. <laughs> yes, she, she does. You know, and I didn't bring her stand, but so she has, Terry, the, oh, okay. there's a hole back here. And she has a telescopic stand. I should have brought it. And it's basically a long stick. 
and it it goes through and you, you put it in there and then you and it goes down like it's a third leg kind of thing so they can stand up and then the, the, they have a third leg holding them up. You know what I think would be really cool? Mm -hmm. Is if he did these on a smaller scale. Totally I would love that. I totally agree. Um, that was something that I, one reason I held off getting one for the longest time because I knew the size was really big and I was really hoping he would make something like more one six scale or even, mm -hmm. or even so she is one six, she's one third scale, right? So even one quarter scale, which is like 16 inches or so. Well, know. what would be like a Barbie doll? How big is that? That's one six scale. One six. Yeah. Okay. And, and Blythe dolls are or one six. One six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Cause that, uh, you know, they're, they'd be much more portable. Hint, hint, if you're listening, yes. Yes. <laughs> which yeah. I doubt you are, but yeah, <laughs> but their, their hands come off. Like they can just pop them off and, um, change them out. Did I just say this? You just pop them off. Pop them off. Okay. Okay. You can see they're kind of rubbery. Oh. And you can buy yeah. like a set of hands extra and then change them out. So you just pop them on? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Get you up here. See how I have very weak hands. Yeah. Yep. And Actually these are easier to pop off than than they are than much these easier. girls. Yeah. Yeah, you can also take your head off, and you kind of have to sometimes <laughs> rip her head off. So you can take oh. their heads off, really, mm -hmm. and it's made that way so when you're changing their clothes, you know, like you can just, like for this t-shirt, I took her head off when I put this t-shirt on her, okay. and then you put her arms up there, and you can just put it on. Okay, so it, it doesn't have like a Velcro or snap in the back, like... This one, uh, this one does mm -hmm. not, but I do have some stuff that is, you know, um, what do you call it? It's got you know, Velcro or snaps or whatever. Okay, get your arm. So there, this plastic is different than than like her hands. Yeah, her hands are more squishy. Mm -hmm. And then her face and her limbs and stuff are like a harder final. She's really, a, her name is what now? Dauntless. Dauntless. Yeah. She's like, a prettier name than that. <laughs> she's really pretty. There we go. All right, yeah. So yeah, she's very, you know, like you can move her legs and... Her feet, her feet also pop off if you want, which is handy. Again, if you're trying to dress her, sometimes mm -hmm. you, they just pop off. Like, well, that's good. I mean, I know sometimes when I'm putting shoes on any of the they just the Blythe, off. Blythe type dolls, oh. whether they're Blythe or the fakies or whatever, I'm always afraid I'm going to break their ankles sometimes right. with with the shoes. So I'm having trouble here, but I'm weak. Okay, I'm tired. We just went to the beach and I'm exhausted. So. <laughs> I have taken her feet off before, but not a lot, but, um, yeah, so, so yeah. Let's get your head back on. Get her head so back just, on. So you just pop it in there, push it down. <clears throat> okay, there we yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. And he, the, the, the big thing is, I would say, like, the wigs, once you get them on, they stay on pretty well, um, but they can be a pain in the butt to get on. <laughs> It's like, Which is actually good because in that way they're not going to pop off. Easily. True, that is true. That is true. So, so what but do you, you think? You can even see her bones here. Her, yes, her clavicle. Yes, he. <laughs> it's interesting. It's like you know he, he de definitely. I say he as in Danny Chu, the designer. That's who I'm talking about. He, you can tell he definitely has an appreciation for the female anatomy. Okay, um, she, he has another doll. Uh, Terry's not privy on this so excuse me if you know this already but um he has another version recently he came out um that they called it the um now i can't remember the name of it but they're full figured okay okay so you know they're they're quite a bit larger they're more and they're more realistic they're more they look like me i was gonna say they're more <laughs> built like me yeah, yeah so so, but I like this body better. I like, I think this, I just like the sportier look of it. And, you know, it just, and, and the thing is, if you get a different body, then all of a sudden you have to get, um, different clothing. Right. Exactly. For the body. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I was just telling Tara, we had to take a break because it's like an oven in my mom's house. <laughs> so we needed a little, <laughs> a little fan going on here. <laughs> um, but she, yeah, her head does tilt, Terry. You can, you can tilt it a little bit if you want. Yeah. She's, they're very articulated, and I think that's one of the reasons. So, if you've ever seen like 
uh, what they call ball jointed dolls, the real BJD dolls. This is sort of like a nod to them, but they're not, they're not strong, but they still have a lot of articulation and movement, you know, mm -hmm. because there's some beautiful, you know, artists, BJD dolls out there that, you know, are very articulated, but, um, you know, they're, they're very expensive and, you know, there's, there's a lot of other issues with them as far as my personal comfort zone. Now she's got very long legs. Do they all have long legs like that? Yeah. So the body for this type of doll, this is called, and he has different types. This is called the semi-real. Okay. So the semi-real has this body. The general semi-real has this body and then their faces are semi-real. He also has an anime grouping of dolls that oh, had okay. anime and that was his original design with were, were the anime and and that's again when I first saw them I saw the animes the semi rolls weren't out yet and I really liked them but I I'm not you know nothing against anime it's just not my a jam and so I wasn't I wanted the dolls but I was like well it's not it's not really you know then when the semi reels came out I was like oh crap <laughs> <laughs> oh well <laughs> yes yeah so so anyway, yeah, that's that's her, and I, I'm not an expert at all on smart dolls. Um, I have four of them, uh, but I would say Dauntless I think is one of the prettier ones. She's that's why I brought her to show her, out of the four. Um, I think she's you know she's got this you know the beachy vibe that Terry and I like. Too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and her skin tone by the way is t called T. T. Yeah, so he has different skin tones. He has um, a lighter skin tone that's called um, Cinnamon. It's not really cinnamon. It's very pale. Like a cinnamon with a lot of sugar in it. <laughs> okay. And then he has a cocoa skin tone, which is gorgeous. It's a darker, you know, darker toned, um, you know, <clears throat> African-American skin tone. Beautiful. And that doll actually is gorgeous. I have beyond. Um, <clears throat> and I thought about bringing her, but she's very difficult to uh, photograph because of how dark she yeah. is. You know, and also um, because uh, it's a, her, she can get smudged, like she can get marks on her easier than oh, these Oh, really? Guys. Yeah, because of the darker skin tone. So, so the, like a white <clears throat> smudge, kind of like a chalky smudge? I, you know, I don't know. I've just heard about it. I'm very okay. careful with her. But they give you, when you buy the, the cocoa color, they give you, or they used to give you like a little magic eraser thing in case you got oh. a scuff mark and you could clean her up. Oh, okay. So, Yeah. And now he just came out, uh, he has a new skin tone called Coffee that's a sh shader to lighter than the cocoa. So it's between that that one and this one then? You know, it's really not to me. My And I'd like to know your opinion down in the comments. If you've seen the coffee, the pictures of the coffee dolls that he's, he's bringing out now, uh, to me, I feel like it's not that much lighter than cocoa for my personal, oh, really? my okay. personal opinion, which could be totally wrong. I would really, I was really hoping that coffee was going to, like you said, it was going to be more in between the tea and the cocoa, um, because like, I really like the skin tone, but I wouldn't mind it a shade darker, you know, like mm -hmm. more of a real tan, you know, it's kind of, it's a light tan to me, you know, but, um, but anyway, but yeah, I would have liked to see it. Maybe a, it's coffee yeah. with a lot of cream in it. There you go. Coffee <laughs> with a little bit of cream. Yeah. <laughs> How my son drinks his coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he has a little bit of coffee with his cream. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly, yeah. So that, maybe that could be it. But, I mean, it's a beautiful doll, and I know a lot of people are really excited about the, the coffee uh, skin tone. It's just, um, right now, it's not ringing my bells. and t You know, it, that could change like, if I see the right doll in that skin tone. But but anyway, this the tea is my favorite. And I oh, have, yeah, it's very pretty. It is. I have <laughs> one um, that's in the cinnamon and... Um, she's it's it's a lot lighter than this i mm -hmm. like it you know it's it's I like it more than i thought i would that's the one uh limitless i have she's the one that when you put a uh a, a iridescent when you put a light on her scalp uh the infinity sign pops oh up. oh yeah so uh, she's yeah. supposed to be a nod to you know people on the spectrum so i got her she's got dark hair and you know uh, little freckles she's really pretty um, but I would say, yeah, I have two, I have her and I have, um, who else? I have somebody else in the tea tone. I only have four dolls. You think I'd remember, but, um, I tell you when I look at her, she reminds me of my niece, <laughs> just this little nose and <laughs> which niece Who's that? She's, um, my, my husband's, it's on my husband's side, his sister's 
She does have a daughters. cute little nose, doesn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So here she is. So we are going to be filming a, a video for her channel soon, Tapping Flamingo, um, because I've asked Terry to make some jewelry uh, for Dauntless. That's one reason also I brought her because that way she has an understanding of her scale and everything. Yes. You know, like, I mean, I can't, it's, it, you know, you, ex you can explain it, you can show pictures, but until you get something like this in your hands. Yeah, because she's yeah. very substantial. I mean, it, very, you know, you're holding her. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's a, a big, big gal. She's a big gal. Yeah. yeah. She's a big and we, like Tammy said, we just got back from the beach not long ago. Um, and we've got a ton of shells and I'll be doing a video on our haul and also maybe we'll be using something in there to make her piece of jewelry. Yeah, we'll have to see what we got. Hopefully we got something or a couple of something. I think we, we did. Use, so, mm -hmm. but she has some other ideas, um, of some, um, you know, jewelry Just have items, to go through, but through the beads and yeah. see what I do have. I do have four smart dolls. So, oh, oh. Resilient. That's the other one. She, Redhead's resilient. That's well, you know, if she comes home with a piece of jewelry, they're going to all want a piece. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. So, And what's nice about them is, like, you know, you can pop their heads off and stick a necklace on. You know, so you can do that if you want. Well, didn't you tell me a bracelet for, like... A, yes. a bracelet that I would wear fits her really nicely as a necklace. Yes, I've used quite a few bracelets that I that I had already as necklaces. So, so that's probably so. what we're going to do. We're going to make we're going to make a neck a bracelet that we could wear, mm -hmm. but it's going to be a necklace for her. Yeah. So so that's over on Tapping Flamingo. So if you haven't, um, you know, if you're not one of her regular viewers over there, make sure you subscribe over to Tapping Flamingo. Um, she also has another channel called uh, Be Creative with Terry Jeanette, so mm -hmm. you could check that out as well. And we'll let you go. Thanks so much for just spending a little dolly time with us as we, as we ooh and aw <laughs> <laughs> over Dauntless. <laughs> and as usual, I'd like to know what you think down in the comments um, and give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, have a wonderful dolly day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.